it could be outside on the on the corner. You know, we have boxing gloves on. Um, the end goal is the 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 end objective is the same to win convincingly, you know, and to be just superior above your opponent. I'm 100% happy with where I am in my career right now. Um, God is just, he's blessing me, you know. He has his hands on my life. He has his hands on my career. Um, fight after fight, I see my progression. I see, you know, my mental state change. You know, um, I'm developing physically and mentally, you know, into a better person. You know, I feel like I'm coming out of this cocoon and turning into this butterfly, you know. Um, Slowly but surely, man, like I say, everything goes into just 100% prayer, 100% faith, hard work and dedication. Um, but I think as he fights more and more, he has certainly gained more maturity um, in his technique. I don't feel more nervous or more tension based on the fact that it's an HBO debut. What you can expect to see on HBO is uh, just a lot of versatility, speed, power, you know, everything that, that boxing wants to see. You know, you'll get to see an exciting fighter, you'll get to see someone that's explosive. HBO debut is very important. Um, it gives a lot of people opportunity to watch Lil Gary really work. Watch Gary do what he do best. Gary boxes, he adapts. You know, he's not one dimensional. Um, come Saturday, they say the guy has a ton of experience, real strong. Um, I think he'll be shocked to realize how strong Gary is. Extremely important to me, not just to win, but to look good. And one of the reasons why is because, you know, I'm not fighting just for myself, I'm fighting for my fans. Um, my job isn't a boxer, I am an entertainer. And it's my job to entertain the fans. I need to give the fans a wonderful show. You know, I need my fans to, to want to see me, you know. Um, it's my job to bring, bring excitement to the ring. That's just what I'm going to do. We talk about it a lot. Um, it's a sport, but it's entertainment. You know, and he wants to be an entertainer. So uh, you'll, you'll see probably Gary uh, not showboating, but letting his hands go. Um, I do still feel some disappointment about the 2008 Olympics, but uh, majority of the time, you know, I, I really don't, I feel as though that, that God just let things happen for reasons in your life, you know. I never question none of the things that happen. Um, I use it as, as, as fuel. I use it as my motivation to keep pushing that extra incentive, you know, to show my fans that, that I am great, you know, that I am one of the best. I definitely do feel as though I advanced a little further than some of the guys on the Olympic team, you know, so far as in my pro career. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with just my management team. You know, Al Heyman, great person, great person to work with, um, a mentor. Um, I think one of the reasons is because of, you know, my management team, my coaching staff. A lot of guys aren't as blessed as I am, you know. A lot of guys couldn't find a manager or a promoter right out of the Olympics the way that I did, you know, which kind of gave me that little head start. Um, but in the end, I feel as though everyone that was on the Olympic team, they're going to still do pretty good. <laughs> yeah, um, it will be a big change come September 24th. Um, I get married. I'm getting married September 24th. I'm 100% grateful. I'm 100% blessed. Um, I feel as though that to make a relationship work, you have to have that, that, that common ground, that common balance. You know, you need, she's everything that I'm not, you know, and vice versa. You know, she, she balanced me out. You know, um, she helps me through everything. She's my, she's 100% supportive. She's, she's everything that I need, you know, and I'm 100% grateful.
man, it, it's extremely important. You know, New Revival Boxing, New Revival Center, you know, like you say, they, they help guys, you know, that just recently been incarcerated or just coming home from being incarcerated, you know, for years at a time, you know, um, help them get back on their feet, you know, help them be able to find just a, a place to live, a place to stay, a job, so they won't have to go, you know, and commit other crimes to get back in jail. You know, they help get on their feet. Some kids that have been problem childs in school, you know, they help them with uh, anger management issues and stuff like that. Um, anger management programs to help the kids get back in school and stuff, you know. Um, that's some of the positive things that I like about New Revival Center, you know, and it's, it's, it's just a big blessing, you know. I don't want to just be known as a fighter. I want to be known as, you know, Gary Russell Jr., someone that, that's willing to come back and help the community, you know, just not just help people, you know, that's been down and out, but people that, you know, just been through so many obstacles and trials and tribulations in their life. You know, in New Revival, they give me an opportunity to just... Oh, man, I think it's wonderful. I think it's God sent. You know, we've been moved around like gypsies, pretty much. Um, the environment is really good for Gary. Um, the pastor, Briscoe, um, Anthony, the rest of the staff. You know, you can tell when people are genuine, when they're real, you have a, a, a sense of discernment of bad spirits. Every spirit that's come to us through the administration has been just real. You can just sense the realness of it. Um, it's, it's very important to be training here with the New Revival Center, you know, and for them to be a part of the boxing facility. You know, um, like I said earlier, you know, a lot of times you just wake up on that side of the bed and just don't feel like working out. You feel sluggish, you feel lazy, or you had a, a hard day in the gym the night before. You know, it's kind of tough getting out of the bed, you know, to come in. And um, when you get here, the spirit is just so, it's just so heavy. You can feel it. You can feel the, the positive vibe coming from everyone. There's neg never no negativity, you know, and they just give you that, that spiritual advice, that spiritual motivation and push to give you what you want, you know, and, you know, to make you want to work hard, to give you that motivation, you know. And once again, I'm, I'm truly grateful and blessed for, them to, for me to be a part of that. Um, I feel good with my father training me, you know, with uh, that, that father-son relationship. Um, a lot of times it's, it's a touchy feeling, you know, with uh, the Roy Jones and his dad and, uh, and um, what's the other guy, uh, Floyd and his dad, oh, you, know, you know, a couple people, you know. My, one of the things that, that I believe gets us through is the fact that boxing is a hobby. This is what I, this is, you know, a job for me, you know. When this is all said and done, my father will still be my father. You know, if something was to happen today or tomorrow and I can never box again, he's still going to be that person in my life. He's still going to be my idol. He's still going to be the person that I look up to, you know. So regardless of what the situation is, he will always be my father. And it, it actually it's a lot easier, you know. Um, I know that my dad is always going to have my best interest at hand no matter what it is. So it makes it a little easier for me to to try to go out and execute the game plan and what it is that he's telling me to do because I know his best interest is definitely at hand. Genuine. He's a genuine person. Um, inside and outside the ring. You know, he's a good son, um, respectful, um, generous. Um, he's a good man. He's going to be a good man. Actually, I'm thinking, um, say, late next year. I would like to get in about, say, five or six more. <laughs> no, there's no concern about Gamboa. You know, one thing I realized in the sport, you need somebody to define you. Ali couldn't have been Ali without Frazier. Um, Tyson had to fight the best, Ray Leonard had to fight Hearns or Hagler. Um, Gamboa is a good fighter. He's rushed. Um, I think he had 15 fights before he fought for the title. But he's old. He's you know in his 30s and on the way out.
Oh man, I would want my fans. To, what would I want my fans to know about Gary Russell Jr.? I want them to know not just about me as a fighter. You know, I definitely feel as though that I am a great fighter. You know, I'm fast, I'm strong, I'm intelligent in the ring, I'm a thinker. You know, but I want to be thorough. You know, I believe the definition of thorough is complete in every way. Um, I don't want to just be a good fighter or a good boxer. I want my fans to know that I'm a good person outside the ring. You know, um, I'm 100% religious. You know, God is my idol. He is my role model. He's who I look up to. He's who I ask questions to. I'm a family person. I'm very family oriented. I love my family. I got five younger brothers. You know, I love it. Like you said, I'm getting married September 24th. Um, it's going to be a completely new experience for me. You know, and I, I want my fans to be able to be part of my journey, be a part of my legacy as a person, not just a fighter.